Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariel and this is Dress Relief. See what I did there with the flower? Because like, weird core, dream core. Okay. So if you couldn't tell by the title, today we're talking about a few more lesser known aesthetics. So we're going to cover weird core, dream core, and kid core. Um, I feel like these have been recommended before, but I've been kind of avoiding them, at least like weird core and dream core, because I can't find a lot about their fashion online. I feel like it's an aesthetic based more on like visual images rather than fashion. So it was a little bit of a challenge to research this to come up with like fashion items to look for here. Now before we get started, a really quick spiel on my new Discord server that just launched. I created this server as a way to build more of a community where you can talk about fashion and aesthetics and you know it's 100% free, everyone's welcome, and I just want people to be able to share their outfit ideas, share new aesthetics they found. You can even share new books, TV, movies, hobbies you found related to different aesthetics. Talk about really anything related to fashion and aesthetics. So it's already growing a little bit and people are sharing their outfit ideas and I think it's just a lot of fun. So if you're interested, definitely check it out. I'll link it down below. I also hope to plan some events on the server, maybe like an Ask Me Anything or maybe even a monthly book club if people are interested in that. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun as this community grows. So definitely check it out. Other than that, follow me if you aren't already and let's jump right into it. First off, I wanted to cover weird core. So if you're not familiar already, weird core is a surrealist aesthetic and it's centered around like amateur low quality photography and visual images and usually with some like odd mysterious plain text added onto the image and it takes a lot of inspiration from the 90s and early thousands internet. So amateur editing, primitive digital graphics like red circles, colored borders, sparkles and low res photography and image compression and one very important element if you take a note highlight this if you don't have a highlighter i don't know what to tell you but they often have like an unsettling element to it or like an element of fear or despair usually using like liminal spaces and text but it can also be like nostalgic and comforting in a way it's like when you can't get an image out of your mind just because it's so weird or disturbing so you just like can't forget it. While I was researching, I came across the r slash weirdcore subreddit and one user described it as a sense of empty nostalgia. I feel like this is such a perfect description. They said weirdcore is what vague, distorted memories look like to me. You feel a sense of bliss and nostalgia from when you were a kid, yet that ominous feeling that comes from weirdcore images is their complete lack of any life. Like someone left everything there exactly as it was, no sign of a struggle or anything, the people just disappeared. And I just feel like that really captures the vibe of weird core perfectly. Some motifs you would see a lot include eyes, cropped out of a human face, ominous text, liminal space, insinuations of impending doom, apocalyptic themes, nostalgic themes, use of dark colors and bold red, internet or computer references, video game references, distorted images, shadow figures, or hallucinations. Like I mentioned earlier, it's definitely more of a visual aesthetic than a fashion aesthetic, so I'm gonna try my best to interpret it into a fashion style and use what little I can find on the internet to kind of come up with what items and what elements to look for to build a weird core wardrobe. So I did mention dark colors or like a bold red color earlier, but I feel like the color palette really isn't too strict because I think the most important part of weird core is just getting that like unsettling yet nostalgic vibe down. So I feel like that's what you should focus on more rather than a color palette. Um, I also think you could take inspiration from the 90s and early thousands because the aesthetic takes inspiration from that time period. So maybe you can take fashion inspiration from that time as well. For example, white to cake accessories, or 90s clothing patterns. Now this is kind of a hot take because I feel like these are kind of considered overdone tropes in this aesthetic and it kind of strays away from the original weird core aesthetic but a lot of people seem to incorporate weird or unsettling objects into their weird core outfits like teeth, eyeballs, wings, or camp accessories. I saw someone on TikTok take two plushies and make it into like a two-headed plushie and turn that into a purse and I think that is super cool and very creative. So you can do something like that. I really recommend playing around with plushies like that. I think that's such a cool and camp accessory to add to your outfit. Hey baby! Ooh. I also see a lot of fun and funky patterns on clothing and you can also like mismatch 
patterns. Pattern clashing is definitely acceptable in this aesthetic and especially 90s or 2000s inspired graphics I think fit really well in this aesthetic because like I said, it is inspired by 90s and 2000s. In terms of actual clothing items to look for, I feel like there's no specific items you need to have in your wardrobe. You can go for anything from like t-shirts to jeans to overalls. T-shirts with weird core images on them would be an obvious choice. Um, for shoes, I see a lot of chunky platform shoes, very 90s or 2000s inspired as well, or just some sneakers, converse, whatever you have. You can also get some fabric paint and make designs on your jeans or your hoodies or your t-shirts as well. And I think accessories is where you can have a lot of fun in this aesthetic though, like the two-headed purse I mentioned earlier or some weird earrings or graphics. And then I'm also going to talk about where to shop for items like this at the end so stay tuned for that but let's move on to dreamcore so if you've heard of weirdcore you probably already heard of dreamcore already dreamcore is also a surrealist aesthetic and it uses motifs commonly associated with dreams or daydreams or nightmares dreamcore shares a lot of similarities with weirdcore but it doesn't intend to give off like a weird uneasy or unsettling feeling it's definitely just like gets the vibe of a dream in general and it uses brighter colors. Another thing I've noticed with Dreamcore is that it uses characters more than Weirdcore. For example, a character with a flower head, like my intro. But Weirdcore doesn't really use characters like that. If anything, you might see like a shadowy figure, but that's pretty much it. You wouldn't see like a full-on character in Weirdcore. Face images in Dreamcore include liminal spaces as well, or unrealistic terrain or structures like photoshopped hills, floating buildings, etc. Or even like fantasy-like lands. It's usually just kind of get like a dream-like quality, like the name suggests. And like I mentioned, the color palette is usually lighter tone or pastel or even like bright rainbow vivid colors. In terms of fashion, I feel like it's very similar to Weirdcore because you'd also see like those teeth and eyes and wings as visual motifs. But of course, the color palette is a lot lighter and you can also see other visual motifs like rainbows, bubbles, sparkles, orbs, old CRT televisions or computer monitors, especially used as like a head element, flowers, mushrooms, or strange creatures in general. You can also go for t-shirts with Dreamcore graphics. Like Weirdcore, there's no specific items you need to go for in your wardrobe, so you can have t-shirts, skirts, pants, dresses, whatever you want. Don't focus too much on the clothing items. I think you should focus more on the graphics and the visual elements from Dreamcore and the accessories. And next, I wanted to cover Kidcore. So Kidcore is definitely a lot more fledged out and has a lot more resources for learning about the aesthetic and fashion resources as well. And basically, it's an aesthetic that centers around bright colors and rainbow colors and nostalgia for the 90s and early 1000s, specifically for like kids themes and like toys and cartoons and things like that. So for a color palette, you definitely want to go for some bright, highly saturated colors, colors you'd frequently find on kids toys and like primary colors like red, yellow, and blue. And for visual motifs, you'd see a lot of playgrounds, stuffed animals like Beanie Babies, Furbies, Lisa Frank artwork, rainbows, bedtime stories, books, rabbits, squirrels, and mice alphabet blocks, board games, balloons, fidget toys, frogs, just things you'd be nostalgic for if you grew up in the 90s or thousands. And next let's talk about some fashion items to look for to incorporate into a kid core wardrobe. For tops, I'd go for collared shirts, graphic tees, especially of kid shows or cartoons, simple patterns, animals, puff sleeves, baseball tees, pajamas, for bottoms, I'd go for jeans or jean shorts, especially with patterns or glitter on them. Overalls. For shoes, I'd go for old worn sneakers. Light up shoes, maybe some Heelys if it would be really cool. And for accessories, I'd go for striped socks, stockings, friendship bracelets or necklaces, band-aids, plushies, temporary tattoos, slap-on bracelets, rainbow loom bracelets, or stickers. I feel like the color palette is very important for kid core. So you can just go for like super bright colors and for clothing items, just have fun with it. Wear things you would have worn as a kid and channel your inner child. Like I recently got myself a Tamagotchi. I'm not super into kid core, but I feel like a Tamagotchi would be perfect for this. So just have fun with it and just like heal your inner child by like 
letting yourself indulge in those things. And finally, I wanted to talk about where to shop for these aesthetics. I feel like you can kind of find these items in like the same places. So first off, thrifting. Um, I always recommend thrifting because it's more sustainable and you can find a lot of cool items there and unique items, especially with these aesthetics because I feel like they're so 90s and 2000s inspired. You can find a lot of clothing from that era in thrift stores right now and on um, thrifting apps like Depop and Mercari and Vinted. Um, you can also DIY a lot of clothing, especially for weird core and dream core. I think you can get really creative with those like the plushie I mentioned earlier. So you can make a plushie purse of your own or paint some designs onto your t-shirts or your hoodies. A little fabric paint goes a long way. You can also like use bleach and a paintbrush and bleach on a design. Or you can even buy iron-on transfer paper and print out weird core images or dream core images to put onto your t-shirt or hoodie or tote bag or something like that. Elfric Eden is an option I see recommended a lot. They have cool sweaters with designs that kind of give off weird core dream core vibes as well with the landscapes. I haven't shopped from there myself, but I see it recommended a lot. Mod Cloth also has a lot of weird funky patterns that I think would fit really well into these aesthetics. Lisa Says Ga is also another colorful and fun option. Lucien Yak as well has funky patterns and graphics and it's a sustainable clothing brand so I always love recommending sustainable brands. Fashion Brand Company is also a very interesting option. Their items are so camp and so cool so I definitely recommend checking them out. Tunnel Vision is a great option for alt clothing in general so you might be able to find some fun options there. And finally, you can look up Weird Core or Dream Core or Kid Core on Etsy, and I'm sure you can find a lot of cool accessories there. I've seen some really cool, weird earrings on there that I think would fit this aesthetic. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned a lot more about Weird Core, Dream Core, and Kid Core. If you have more aesthetics you want me to cover, definitely let me know in the comments. And again, check out my Discord server, and we can continue the conversation there. It's gonna be a lot of fun building a community over there so you can meet more people who are interested in fashion and aesthetics as well so check it out and follow me on instagram and tiktok and i'll see you guys next time